Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a kind of a quick tip slash feature review. So let's say you're doing an image search and you wanted to save the picture or you want to keep that picture saved for later as part of a collection for an event or to help you get an idea for an uh, event or a personal occasion you might be having. Well, Google has released an update to their Google image search to let you easily refine images by being able to save them. So what you're going to do is start off with a Google image search. So go to google.com slash images. And let's say in this case, I want to I do a search for Star Wars and I get all these different pictures. Um, and I, let's say, for example, I like this picture here. You'll see a little save button that comes up. So I'll hit save and now it's saved. And every time you go to do a Google image search, you'll see the button to view any images you saved. And so you get the, for example, at the moment, I get the one that I saved. So uh, as you do this, you can save as many different images as you like. So let's say I'll close this and now I want to do a search for a Star Trek. So just do a simple search for Star Trek. And um, as you, you'll get um, pictures that show up just from Google image search. And for example, I like this one. So now I'll save this one. I'll go back to view all. And now I see both pictures. But now, um, let's say you wanted to, or you're doing a image search for a bunch of different things. So I did two image, two movies here, but let's say I want to separate them by movies and uh, maybe theme parks. So uh, let me go back. I'll do a quick uh, save for a theme park picture. So let's close this out. Do a theme, um, theme park. A quick bad typing on my end. So I'll do a quick save of this picture. Uh, I can close that and then even if you're in just an image search you'll see view saved show up so you can get to your saved images quickly. Um, so when you go back um, your say any saved images will show up here and now let's say and now you'll see this um, button called collections where you can combine different pictures to create collections of your own so uh, when I go back to my individual images uh, clicking on the three dot menu you can select the uh, images you saved so I'll click the two pictures here, um, click on the tag in the middle, and you'll see that since I don't have any co uh, collections, I'll want to create a new one. Um, I'll call it something generic called movie uh, pictures. I'll create that, and um, since it's done, I'll do done. And so now, or I guess I didn't do that right, but I'll select these two, yeah, click tag, and add it to movie pictures and done. So when I go to collections, I can open my movie pictures uh, collection and I have my images. So that's all there is to that. Um, going back, if I want to create a tag just for this, um, or if I want to create a label or sorry, just the collection. So create a new collection and do theme parks. I can do the same thing there and create that collection. So I, now I have the theme parks collection, hit done, and go back. So now I have two uh, collections, color-coded, very nice. My bar is themed to the picture, sort of. I'm assuming that's material design pulled in. It looks pretty consistent there. But uh, that's really all there is for that. So just a simple and easy, nifty, neat trick to create yourself some cool um, collections and save pictures as you're searching the web. I When I was re first reading about this, I know that um, the example was, for example, for a uh, um, hairstyle. So let's say you're looking for a new hairstyle or uh, getting getting yourself some ideas, then you can save pictures so you can just show your stylist what kind of hairstyle you want. And you don't have to worry about remembering what kind of um, hairstyle you're looking for, reading the search, worrying about um, anything you might have seen before or anything like that. Um, and then as you can see, you can also add notes to the pictures. So if you want to um, leave yourself a note for later for why you like the picture or what the picture reminds you of. So maybe I'll add a thing for force users and be done there. So um, I know that's pretty generic and not helpful at all. But if you it gave you an idea for something later, you could add that note as well. And then if you're done with a picture or you realize that you didn't don't need that picture or it's not part of the collection or not relevant, then you can delete it as well. 
So that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, or want me to try something out, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all for this particular screencast. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.